Kenner Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back collection, it's new Rebel Armored Snow Speeder. Batteries not included. Snow Speeder has laser guns with sound and light action. Got him! Back to the Rebel base! Rebel Armored Snow Speeder from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back collection. You have to put it together. Action figures each sold separately. New from Kenner. The other day, I was at Meet Meepleton's World of Fun, which is my local vintage toy store, and I picked up this. The Empire Strikes Back Snow Speeder Kenner Toys from 1980. And it's in really good condition. A little dirty though, and it still works. Got batteries in it. Yeah, it's hard to see the lights. The lights aren't that bright. But still, I thought I'd take it apart and clean it up real good. And hopefully I'll get some new decals to put on there and restore it as best I can to its original condition. There's a lot of dirt and stuff on it that's been ground in through lots of years of playing, I imagine. So in order to submerge this and take some of that dirt off, I am going to need to take it apart. There are electronics and things inside that will need to come out. Cannons in the front. Lift off. I gotta remove these screws. I'm not one of those YouTubers. Who restores vintage toys I don't even know what I'm doing so hope you're not tuning in for a how-to because I would not be the one to watch there are plenty of those out there Now I have the top off and take out this turret much easier. There's the landing gear. Here's the motor that makes all that noise. Should just lift off. There it is. Alright. So now I have the complete bottom minus all the electronics. Now all these pieces have been thoroughly washed and scrubbed of all the dirt, but they could still get a little whiter. And a trick I've learned is that if toys like this are soaked in hydrogen peroxide for a few days in the sunlight, they get a lot whiter. We stocked up on hydrogen peroxide at the start of the pandemic and never really used it. So now I'm going to put it to some good use.
So there's all the pieces of the snow speeder taken out of the hydrogen peroxide. They lightened up a little bit. That's about as good as it's going to get. So now it's a matter of putting it all back together. Now that the main part's back together, make sure I didn't screw up the wiring too bad here. Let's put the batteries back in, see what we got. That's a good sign. You see that? Okay, alright. So that worked. together. So there's the snow speeder all reassembled and all cleaned off. Now what we need are some decals, just like in the old days. So what I did, went online, found them on eBay, of course. People can just print these now, and they're just as good as the ones from the 80s. And look, went online, found the original instructions about how to apply them. Because, I don't know where they all go, must have had a picture and matched it up. So this is awfully useful. The Rebel Snow Speeder from Kenner, 1980, Empire Strikes Back. All stickered up. Hey, isn't that beautiful? So now it's all ready to play with, except need some pilots. So let's get some pilots in there. Of course, it takes a couple of Rebel pilots. Technically, these are both Luke Skywalker X Wing pilot. But who cares? They'll wear the same uniform. It's not like you can tell them apart. And here we go. We'll, we'll say that that is Luke Skywalker in the front. Okay, there they are. Canopy on. There. All set to take down uh, walkers. You know, and I think we should take down walkers. 